here on Double RT Boxing with Mr. A. Ready, ready, talk boxing. We're doing a breakdown prediction. October 19th, Glenn Tapia versus Gabriel Rosado. This fight could basically decide these fighters' careers. What do the loser go on to? You know, it's do you retire? Do you become a journeyman for the prospects? We don't know. We don't know, but we're going to get into this breakdown. Now, talking about <clears throat> leg movement and feet work, Glenn Tapia has a tendency to square his feet up. Uh, he follows you around. He doesn't use much legs as of cutting off the ring or when he's in trouble. Using ring generalship to buy him some time, eat up some some valuable time to get his breath back. As for Gabriel Rosado, in his 11 losses, I believe he learned experience and leg work. How to get himself out of trouble because he took some pretty good beatings in his career got busted up pretty good um, he's tried to revamp himself as a fighter so he talks about I mean he not talks about he does uh, tries tries to be more of a boxer a slow down boxer instead of trying to get in there and fight so his, his, he has a kind of a wide stance for me. But he, he uses his leg. I'll say his, his leg work is better than his feet work. You know, he, he kind of circles the ring and probes a jab out. His footwork. Like I said, his feet are a little wide for me. Uh, I, he has a hard time throwing anything besides three jabs in a row. I think it's because of his feet work. But still, I'm going to give the feet and legs to um, Gabriel Rosado due to the fact that uh, he can probe on the move with a jab. Now, as for defense, wow, these guys get hit a lot. These guys get hit a lot. Gabe Rosado, he's more of a shoulder shoulder roll-ish, I guess, Philly shell type fighter since he is a Philadelphia fighter. Um, he's more, well, Glenn Tapia is a three-fourths in my high guard. You can punch over it. Um, Gabe Rosado, he's learned and experienced to hold when he's in trouble, to use his legs to back out of trouble. While Glenn Tapia, he doesn't hold. He he try to fight back with pride. His three fourth guard is you can hit over it, you can hit around it. His waist movement is pretty stiff. Um, Gabe Rosado has a nice little, he could bend at the waist, drop his legs down to change heights. So I'm giving a defense to Gabe Rosado. As punch combination, variations of speed, jabs. Um, Glenn Tapia, he's a decent jab, but he just mainly just hooks. All hooks and jabs. Occasionally in the inside he had the uppercut, but it's, he's just a hook and jab fighter. No more than a two com two swinging combination. And, um, Gabe Rosado, he he's tends to be now everything behind a jab. Um, he get his best output is probably like a three punch combination. Uh, but due to his wide feet, it's rare that you see anything besides a one two three jab. You might see a jab and a hook. Um, as far as body attacking goes, I believe uh, 
just a tough one. Who has a better body attack on these guys? I'd probably say Rosado does. Because Tapia... He'll throw occasional body work in there, but he's he's just a headhunter. He's and he's used to these he's gotten into these brawls and it just that's where he's stuck at in his career. Like I said, to me, Glenn Tapia peaked about four or five years ago and just never changed. Uh power. Raw power punch for punch probably goes to Glenn Tapia. You know, he's I believe he's been the heavier fighter his whole career. So he has a little more natural power in that one. Now, for keys to victory on how Glenn Tapia could win this fight, I would probably say he would have to pre use the pressure and get inside Gabe Rosado. Make Gabe Rosado smother his own work and put Gabe Rosado against the ropes. As far as how Gabe Rosado could win this fight, just stay on the outside, use the jab, and constantly just keep turning Glenn Tapia. His footwork is slow, so have him turn, turn. And then as he gets inside, he leans forward and just have a step back uppercut ready. And then that being a breakdown, I think this predict, well, my prediction for this fight is going to be a unanimous decision for Gabriel Rosado. I think he's just going to outbox him, stay on the outside, jab, jab, turn him, uh, body jab, he's gonna body stab, jab uh, Glenn Tapia all day, he's open for that with his wide open uh, three-quarter high guard, and this should be a pretty interesting, entertaining fight for a little bit, but after a while you're gonna see that uh, Gabriel Rosado has different levels to him, and and Glenn Tapia doesn't. So I'm going with a unanimous decision. Gabriel Rosado just stay on the outside and out jabbing Glenn Tapia. This is Mr. A saying thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Thumbs up the video. Share them. Help me help the channel grow. Appreciate it, guys.